No lotion? No lotion. Okay. Hi, good morning. We're here at Universal Studios, so I just kind of want to say hi and start off the day. I was going to take her to the museum, but I couldn't decide on which one, so I think I'm just going to look at this book my mom has when I take her to her friend's house tomorrow and um, see what we can do other than like simmers and stuff like that. But we're going to have fun? Yeah. So I'm taking her to Universal City yeah. Walk because she likes it and I'll get her tired. <laughs> So, and I'm tired, so it's good. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. So we had to do a quick Starbucks um, thing. Um, I was kind of getting hungry. We had a bar. We shared a bar. It was good. We had raisins and cranberries and peanuts. And it was good. Yeah, but I just kind of want to give a little update. I don't know if you saw a lot outside. And there was little, these kids like in front of me. Their kids, their parents just left them out outside in strollers. And I'm like, the oldest kid is maybe seven. I'm like, dude, even a seven-year-old, you cannot leave them outside like in a public place. You never know what's gonna happen. So I was a little scared that they were fighting. I'm like, uh, yeah, exactly why you don't leave kids outside, right? Is that good? Good chocolate milk. I'd really like to try that. Is he flying? Yeah. You want to try that one day? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you ha you can, but we can check it out. Deal? Look, he's going to help her fly. That's really cool. You see her face? She looks funny. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. But it's me, so let's see how this goes. So yeah, I'm home already. I'm ta I've taken a shower. I've brushed my hair finally. And well, not finally, but just like finally at night. I know I haven't been doing it lately. Um, even though it kind of looks really weird here, so I'm gonna have to put fix it in the morning. But um, anyways, where was I? So yeah, so I actually ended up getting out pretty early. I did end up doing some of my script. I didn't finish it. Um, I know, like same thing every day, but same old, same old, right? But yeah, anyway, um, but I did get pretty far along with it, so I should actually be able to finish it for reals, like, tomorrow. Um, the only thing is, I kind of fell asleep when the baby fell asleep. Um, like, I put her down for her nap and everything. I know I told you guys, like, we're leaving and everything. We got to her house, gave her lunch, and then I put her down, but she always, um, like, she always tells you, like, oh, lay with me, like, lay down with me. So I lay down with her to see if she would calm down and, like, you know, I think she'd go to bed pretty quickly. She wasn't going to bed. She, like, she was just, like, looking at me, like, whatever, like, trying to be funny. But finally she did end up falling asleep. But I didn't realize, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I also fell asleep when she fell asleep. And it was actually kind of scary because I kind of had, like, a panic attack in my dream so I know I talk a lot about my dreams but this is like one of the ones that was like really like this is the scariest dream I've ever had and not because like the content of it except, but just like how I felt in it so <clears throat> basically the thing was this for whatever reason my mom and me were having like a disagreement like, we were sitting down at the kitchen table and we we're like you know talking like and she was like trying to give me advice and I was like no you know like like, I know, I know, you know, that kind of thing, um, and she was, like, trying to, like, get me to reason with her or whatever, and I was, like, not accepting whatever she was saying, and then I, we hear this noise, and it turns out it's, like, just my dad, he's coming up through the back for whatever reason, I guess, like, we forgot he'd gone and throw the trash or something like that, he's, like, oh, okay, and then he starts getting on the conversation, he sides with my mom and, like, whatever, and they're, like, kind of lecturing me a little, and then we hear a noise again, and I'm, like, holy shit, it turns out it's our 
neighbor from back, from the back, um, from behind us, that lived in the back of the house, so, um, he comes in with his girlfriend, he had, like, a dog that looks like my old neighbor's dog, but anyways, so yeah, like, all of a sudden he has a dog, and, like, I don't really talk to the guy, so I was like, whatever, um, you know, like, what my parents do, sorry, I got something in my throat, so yeah, so then, from there, like, you know, they turn their attention to him, and they're talking to him, and I put my head down, and close my eyes, and all of a sudden, I feel like I can't move, I feel like I'm shaking, like, I'm about to have, like, some sort of spasm, I feel like, like, throwing up, I feel just, like, like, just stick to my stomach, and then I can't open my eyes, and, like, you know, it has, like, that feeling where, like, it, it kind of felt like when, um, like, let's say, like, in a movie, like, they want to give you the point of view of, like, when someone's, like, fainting, and, like, you just see their eyes kind of opening really slowly, that's exactly how I felt. And then that's finally when I woke up, but it felt still real. Like, I totally forgot I was, e like, where I even was until I, like, looked around. I was like, oh my god, she f the baby fell asleep. But it was so, it was, like, the scariest thing I've ever experienced. And I've had panic attacks before. But, like, just to have one in a dream and it feels, it felt like, it really did feel like a panic attack. Like, I don't know. I need to go see, like, a therapist or something, see what's going on with me, but that was really scary. So yeah, but then I started cleaning because the house is kind of a mess and stuff, and because we just like ran out of the house to go to the city walk, and I was putting dishes away and whatever, and my phone was like really bad at charge, so I started um, just washing dishes, and I was hungry, so I, I had to cook my food, and then um, take the dog out, take the trash out, go downstairs to get my computer because I don't want to bring when I was bringing the baby up, but I did end up putting a lot more detail in, especially the first scene of the thing, so that actually made it, like, link, let alone, like, knit, like, another page, and, or half a page, at least, so, I don't know, it was good, and then I know I have to put a little bit more detail in the other stuff, so right now, I'm, tomorrow, the first thing I'm going to do is just go through it and, like, concentrate on the you know, what I've already have written, especially with, like, entering, like, the detail of how the setting looks and whatever. Um, but, yeah, it was just, like, oh, oh, yeah. um, could, plus, like, I noticed that when I was going back into, like, put in, like, the details, like, the descriptions of how the setting is, like, I actually changed some of the dialogue that, like, I thought worked better and whatever. And just, like, as it, it's growing, you know. I don't know. I kind of feel like if I, I might actually, like, pursue this seriously as, like, I mean, as a hobby kind of thing. Like, screenwriting and stuff. Because it's actually, it starts being really fun for me. And I understand. And i always thinking of things in terms of, like, oh, this could would make a really good movie or a really good show or you know, whatever, like, just even aspects of my life, I will, like, play them in my head as if they were, like, being scripted and stuff, it's really crazy, but when I, when I overanalyze things, that happens, but yeah, after that, though, like, baby woke up, and my boss came home, and I entertained the baby, and made some food for us, and my boss let me go home, like, around 6 30, so I got home at, at 7, and, I start, and then we booked, um, the hotel for Santa Barbara, we, my Mom booked a hot wire hotel, so we couldn't check it out before we actually booked it. And it's a decent, like, it's like, whatever, it's kind of old and whatever, but, it, I mean, really, like, I told her, I'm like, look, if we were to stay there, like, a full week, I would say, like, no, dude, like, come on, you need a really nice hotel or something. Um, but, you know, we're gonna be there for two day, two, three days, and we're gonna, like, go, you know, kind of sightseeing. And stuff and so it's pointless to really stay like you know we're not really gonna be staying in the hotel like we're not going for the purpose of being in the hotel we're gonna be going out we're probably gonna be out most like almost the whole day so yeah but we booked it and I started watching um Pretty Little Liars which is like my mom was actually into it like she actually sat down she's like oh. she goes that's it she goes it's done she goes what the hell this is getting good 
and you know she doesn't watch this usually so, but every once in a while she like catch shows that we watch sometimes she likes them sometimes she doesn't like, she makes fun of me for watching Grey's Anatomy but then she can't watch it because she doesn't like surgery or that kind of stuff or any gory stuff she just doesn't handle it well so especially like when we watch Untold Stories of the ER she really can't handle it and then we were watching Jane by Design and um, Bunheads which turned out so much better than we originally thought with my sister just because the name seems a little bit like I don't know it seems a little unattractive <laughs> I think they could have given it a better title but um, the show itself was actually really good and it's from like Gilmore Girls I'm like oh my god I'm totally see seeing elements from Gilmore Girls in this but yeah and then I took a shower and stuff and I started watching Monster in Law which like totally opened my eyes to things but yeah so anyways like it was just like wow that's like <sighs> relationships are hard you know it's just I mean it's just crazy how many things actually go into relationships sometimes it's not even just like you know you and your partner sometimes it's also like the family that comes with your partner and that one is harder to get to obtain and stuff and it's just it's crazy but yeah anyways i should really go to bed because i have to wake up early and like i said i this is like 10 minutes long conclusion but yeah anyways good night i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to put your comments down below and like the video and most importantly don't forget to subscribe which is right there anyways good night